I purchased this from Hare and Forbes here in Brisbane for $364. The feed handle appears to be aluminium die cast and not cast iron as advertised. But that's okay. Aluminium die cast is actually a better finish, although not quite as robust. Bit of overspray inside this collar, so I just gave it a light sand and some WD-40. Here, I made sure there was sufficient gap for the rack to rotate freely. got to say that looks a little bit rough but the taper appears to be just fine. I'm going to put the safety shield on. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it so we'll just have to wait and see how we get on. I don't think that's going to stay. The tool clip had been opened up a little bit, so all I had to do was just uh, close it up with a pair of pliers, and uh, after that it was fine. Same thing goes for the emergency stop. I'm not really sure I like it. I'll give it a go and we'll wait and see how we get on. I get the feeling that if you don't keep the column lubricated, the rack is prone to binding. There's quite a gap in the speeds from 660 to 1150. Although, to be fair, I'll most probably be in the range between the 300s and the 600s. Adjusting the belt tension was very easy. So here I'm just taking it for a test run. This is actually quite nice to use. Ooh. That's 
seems a little bit sloppy. Oh, that's not a good shot. That is not a good chunk. Good chunk. That's a bit of a worry. Let's try this one. That's heaps better. So, this chuck is from the Aldi drill press. This chuck is the one that came with this. That is not the correct size key. Look at that. The LD key, bang. All right, that is crap. Not sure if this bolt is supposed to be loose or not, so um, I thought I'd just tighten it up just in case. I thought I'd just test out the wedge and it worked fine. So that's the Hafco BD325 drill press. All in all, I'm very happy with it. I think it's really good value for money and it would be a perfect addition for any home workshop. In the case of my workshop, this is a definite step up. And at this point, I really can't think of any negatives really, uh, of course, other than that minor issue with the key. But that was easily sorted. Rightio. If you're on the market for a new drill press and are considering this model, I hope this video might be useful. Happy days. Thanks for watching.